Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction System Integration and Architecture Series. Today is our lecture number two. Let's proceed on our topic for today, an overview of system integration challenges and drives, part one. We have here the meaning of system integration. The first one is system integration means that you allow an heterogeneous information system or IS to communicate or integrate and share information or data seamlessly with one another. When we said heterogeneous, it means to say different kind. For example, a kind of database connected to a kind of application software like Visual Studio. Or it could be a web-based server to an Oracle or uh, FoxPro. So uh, that is what you call heterogeneous. The other one is seamlessly it means to say there should be no errors in the connection or in the integration so that we can use the system otherwise if there is an error it is not seamlessly next meaning is system integration is a key issue for an organization for its growth management needs to pay close attention to this issue now yes it's true because uh, the key issue here is that on the first meaning itself that it should be no error we can integrate different kinds of applications and databases and even uh, graphics so therefore it is the key issue right now because there is what you call growth if you have the company you are in the industry it's a key issue for the organization itself the third meaning we have here is system integration enterprise resource planning erp systems are a major kind of information system allowing organization to integrate different system into one organization wide application with an integrated database management system system integration and enterprise system are the same functional silos silos are basically compartmentalized operating units isolated from their environment we have two functional silos here number one is horizontal and number two is vertical Horizontal silos, classification of organization into departments like accounting and human resources, reflects the breaking and of complex tasks into smaller manageable tasks that could be assigned to a group of people who could then be held responsible. It is a small application or a small system. That is what you call horizontal. One example of that is calculator. Calculator in our application next we have the vertical silos organization also divided roles in hierarchical layers from strategic planning to management control and operation control ceos and president plan long-term strategy mid-level management focuses on tactical issue and on the execution of organization policy whereas the lower level management task is to focus on the day-to-day -day operation of the company it is not mentioned here that a vertical silos is a uh, much broader system than the horizontal silos okay when we said uh, horizontal is the same as the horizon of the sea they are flat they are the same to each other when we said vertical it's going up that's why in the system analysis and design book vertical silos are a combination of many systems that it has been used for the organization okay for example uh, payroll system those are vertical silos okay uh, library system so vertical silos but if it's a small system it is called horizontal silos now let's move on as organizations get big and complex they tend to break function into smaller units and assign a stop the responsibility for these activities allowing them to manage complexity as well as specialized in activities that enhance productivity and efficiency. Information system organizations. Information system are a critical component of successful organization today. That is true. If you don't have a system, you cannot work as the same as the company or organization that uses information system. Especially right now, we are in a pandemic. Okay, everything is should be in an online transaction next is information system play a ro major role in primary and secondary activities of an organization's value and chain it is true and it is also mentioned in the IT infrastructure even on the e-government 
that information system is very crucial in terms of uh, using this making more the government democratic next the evolution of is suggests that its role has generally been to support evolving information needs of the organization continuation now information system provide a high level of computer automation to support business functions such as accounting finance marketing customer service human resource management operations manufacturing and it also supports horizontal silos of organization. Information system provide analytical and decision making support for management which is generally categorized into three levels, strategic, middle, and operational. Supporting vertical silos of organization. Each business functions and management level has different information requirements. So functional silos in organization identifies each functional area's different information needs and report requirements. Each functional area in organization also has multiple levels of management, each requiring different levels of analysis and details of information. To increase efficiency and pro productive organizations develop various information system to support each major activity and responsibility. We have here uh, a figure, the department as an organization. So we have the users, we have the functional departments, there's a what you call support, inventory, payable, sales. So those are vertical because it's moving up and we, you can identify also a line going up is vertical, a line on the next to it is horizontal. So those are horizontal uh, programs if you are aware of system analysis and design. But if you are not, uh, you cannot uh, easily understand the figure itself. But going up are vertical, vertical line, and going to the sides are horizontal. So we can call this horizontal silos, we can call this vertical silos. That is the idea. Next is management pyramid with information requirements. Each management level has different information requirements. So we have operational control, management control, and strategic planning which identifies on the three a while ago strategic managerial and operational so right here we have the on the left side unstructured decision requirements semi-structured and structured so it could be going up and going down upon its arrow the same process on the right side we have the ad hoc unscheduled summarized infrequent forward looking external wide scope the information requirements and press specified schedule detail, frequent historical internal narrow focus. The same as having an arrow of up and down. And you will notice also that below there are a series of tabs from finance function to the marketing function. Identifying that there are plenty of different information in each level. Next is IS, information system as categorized by functional and hierarchical models. So we have the infrastructure support. So it is being used by IT staff and the operating system and its database system. Next we have the clerical. It's more on typing. So we have office automation system, communication and collaboration. Uh, it could be possible also support, technical support. Next, we have transaction support system, operational. We have line managers and operators. We have the managerial support, mid-level managers and management information system. We have the staff support, knowledge worker, professionals, decision support system. And we have the executive support system, strategic support, top managers, which they think of what is best in their organization. Information silos and system integration. Over time, organization created a hodgepodge of independent, non-integrated system, ultimately creating bottleneck and interfering with productivity. Organizations need to be agile and flexible and will require their information system to have integrated data application and resource from across the organization. So when we said agile from the organization itself, they're going to invite outside personalities to make it flexible. That's the idea of Agile. 
Next, a silo information system is inefficient, inaccurate, and expensive. It depends upon the matter. Not all silos are inaccurate. Of course, they are accurate in terms of the company is having a successful production, revenue. The system creates bottleneck for everyone and information is not available in real time. Well, if you are on the company itself, sometimes you need to have only a network and you don't need an internet. To compete effectively, organizations have to be customer focused. This requires cross-functional integration among the accounting, marketing, and other departments of the organization. So customer focus, that is one of the agile, it has been mentioned. The cross-functional integration can involve people and resources from uh, various functional departments working together, sharing information at any level of organization, which I mentioned, it should be in a network. The cross-functional organizational structure breaks the functional silos by opening up the informational flows from one department to another. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number two.